right, what do you do? I run a marketing agency for real estate investors. Uh, I've been doing it since I was 15. Um, uh, I just turned 19, so uh, almost four years now. Four years, marketing agency, is it like a uh, tiny marketing agency? Is it big? How, oh, how are you doing? How's the business? No, doing? business is uh, pretty good. Uh, this month we're doing about, we're on track to do $150,000 uh, this month uh, with around 40, 50% margins, and uh, I got a team of 11, and that's including me. 11 people, uh, yes, VAs sir. here in the U.S.? What, uh, what it's it's mainly uh, in South America and United States. So, for example, my director of client success, he's been in business for 20 years. He's right outside of Nashville, actually. He's an hour outside of Nashville. And then all my other team members tend to be in uh, South America. Okay, there's probably a lot of people that are going to watch this that don't understand how you could be 19 and doing, like on track to do over a million dollars a year in a business and have 11 team members and started when you're 15. Uh, 100%. Just answer that question. Like, how did it's, you do that? So, and you did, did you go to college? Oh, no, absolutely not. My, my dad was very disappointed. So, taking it back to the beginning, um, I, my parent, when I was in eighth grade, uh, family got into a fight, you know, I'll skip all that boring stuff, but parents got divorced. I moved to uh, Pearland, which is an, uh, about half an hour south of Houston. And me, it was me, my dad, and my sister. We moved into an apartment. I saw my dad struggled with finances and this was like peak COVID so I was like it, it scared me a little bit I was like oh my god COVID's happening I might live on the streets so I started watching YouTube and I got hit with a rich dad poor dad Kiyosaki uh, podcast the title was like uh, the rich don't want you to know this or whatever so I started watching this and I'm like wait the school's like leading me in the wrong direction so I looked into drop shipping. I looked into Amazon FBA I looked into real estate wholesaling but when you're 15, you can't sign contracts. So wholesaling was swept under the rug, and uh, I found out about the marketing agency space, and what intrigued me was the fact that I heard somewhere where if you learn to market and you learn to sell, you'd do anything in the world. So eventually I started a marketing agency uh, during COVID. Uh, coming back to school, I was a, I think I was a sophomore. I had to balance high school and business at the same time and it was extremely stressful um skip sophomore year junior year um right before summer uh after junior year i went to my counselor I was like i want to drop out like i don't want to do this anymore she told me that like if i don't go to school like my dad will go to jail or something and i don't know i kind of fell for it so I, it didn't make sense but um i asked her okay what can i do so she told me about um, taking summer classes. So I started taking summer classes and I ended, I ended up taking a few tests to graduate early. So I graduated as a junior instead of a senior. So um, now that I graduated, uh, I had a, I, I got my own office in downtown Houston and I've uh, been grinding ever since. So biggest thing I'll say is that uh, you fail a lot, uh, but just don't give up. And I know it sounds so corny, but because that's what I heard when I first got started. But um, it's actually true because if you you can't you don't lose until you give up so what's the biggest piece of advice that you can give to somebody who is young like you 15 16 17 years old uh -huh. in high school and just knows they want to be an entrepreneur what would you recommend they do with the first step first thing is learn sales because if you can learn to sell sales is basically a style of communication right if you can learn to persuade and influence others um at the end of the day it, it is my belief that you can pretty much do anything you want yeah, I think that's great advice. I totally agree with that. 100%. I wish that I learned how to sell early on. I think I did a decent job, but man, if I went deeper in that, I would have been accelerated way faster. Oh, yeah. Even just in, tr in communication with other people. Correct, correct. I wanted to ask you this because you're a father and I'm not. So I have this belief that if I build a business, right, I train my team members, you can onboard my team uh, and train them up to KPI. Raising kids is similar, so I'm curious, like, for you, would you, what sort of skills... Oh, do you notice that you know your skills for business has translated to your to your personal life as a father? Uh, yeah, I d it, it definitely is. However, here's the challenge that you have usually. Um, you usually marry somebody who's the opposite of you. Sure. So I would love to have like build our core values for our family. I would love to sit down and have meetings on a regular basis. Yeah. I would love to have like goals and targets for the family, for uh, for the kids, for us, okay. for vacations. Do all this planning. Look at the calendar. All that stuff, right? Well, my wife is like, if you run our family like a business, I am out of here. She's like, really? she hates it. She doesn't want me to bring that attitude home and just kind of like run the company like a CEO. So I really have to transition when I get home to dad, husband, you know, father. But 
However, I am very detailed. I'm a military guy, and so it. I would say if that's something that's important to you and you really want it to be important as a family, I would have that conversation before you start dating, before you get married, gotcha. okay. and find somebody who is that is interested in running things at a household like that as well. Gotcha. Okay. Because I see a lot of people in my mastermind seven figure flipping where they both work in the business, they both run and they they run their household like that. They have really? you know KPIs and metrics and goals and plans and and all these things and core values and they talk about it together as couples. Um, I'm, there's times where I'm really uh, uh, jealous of that, but I will tell you, I don't know that I could handle somebody else trying to run things with me. Like, I really do want to be in charge a lot. Okay. I want to be the best, and so I know that about myself. So it looks good from the outside, but the grass is not always greener Correct. over there. Correct, so, yeah. So, yeah, I think that's a great question. Uh, but as a father, I think, you know, keep it, if you can run a business, you could definitely run a household. So, um, it, and it's very similar. Yeah, I feel like once I scaled the business and I like got a lot of my wealth, the fundamentals of wealth together, I would like create a like an onboarding SOP from like zero to like 18 years old uh, for a kid. But I don't know. Just realize you can't fire your kids, you can't fire your spouse. Of course you, can't you do any can, stuff. yeah. You also can't pick them, you can't hire them. So you you the big the best thing that you can do is is create the values, Correct. instill the values that you have in them. Right, train the character gotcha. and really make sure that they're upstanding citizens that are going to do really well and add to the world like you have. Correct. I so I'm sure your parents are very proud of you. I don't know about that. My mom doesn't even know about what I do. My dad's just like, okay, just you know, stay out of jail. Well, there will be a day where they are, and, and deep down I'm sure they are. And uh, and if not, they'll there will be a time where they are because you're doing good things. You're adding value to the world. You're adding value to the real estate community. You're doing great in marketing. I mean, a lot of people will look at you and see you as a success. So, you know, I, I, I truly believe that, that God is the one who's going to judge us. I, and I so he's, he's our true father. And um, I hate when people's fathers are not proud of them, especially when they're doing really amazing things. Like you're a great example to young, young kids of what right. they can become. If they put, if, if they work hard, if they do a good job, they commit to it. It's really incredible. Absolutely, I appreciate that. How can people contact you, find out more information about you, that kind of stuff? Hundred percent. So my Instagram is official Benjamin. Uh, last name is H O A N G. You'll find me there. Uh, Facebook is the same thing, and uh, same thing for YouTube.